Title, Halloween Hunt, Baba Yaga's Curse. The air was crisp and laden with the scent of fallen leaves as a group of friends ventured into the heart of a forgotten campground on Halloween night. Mark, the level-headed leader, had organized the camping trip to celebrate the spookiest night of the year. With flashlights in hand, they gathered around a campfire to share ghost stories. Rachel, the bookish and inquisitive member of the group, spoke up first. She recounted the tale of Baba Yaga, the ancient witch who dwelled in the heart of a dark forest. Rachel warned that disrespecting Baba Yaga's legend on this night could invite her off. She is said to have unspeakable powers, Rachel added, and anyone who mocks her may regret it. Lena, Mark's girlfriend, scoffed at the legend. It's just an old folk tale, she said, rolling her eyes, ignoring the uneasy glances from her friends. Lena went on to openly disrespect Baba Yaga, challenging the witch to show herself. As the night deepened, the forest seemed to come alive with eerie sounds. Distant, haunting chants echoed through the woods, and unseen forces rustled the leaves in the shadows. Mark and the others grew increasingly uneasy, but Lena remained defiant, dismissing the strange occurrences as mere coincidences. Sarah, Lena's best friend, tried to reason with her. Lena. You can't just disrespect something like that on Halloween night. It's said to be the one night when the supernatural world is closest to ours. Lena shrugged off her friend's concerns and continued to taunt Baba Yaga. But as the fire crackled and cast eerie shadows on their faces, their laughter faded into tense silence. Suddenly, a chill descended upon the group, and the night became unnaturally still. Shadows danced menacingly among the trees and a sense of foreboding washed over them. The group began to experience disturbing visions. Mark saw a fleeting glimpse of a bony, clawed hand reaching out from the darkness. Sarah heard whispers that seemed to be coming from the forest. Realizing that her mockery of Baba Yaga had awoken something truly malevolent, the group began to piece together the haunting legends they had heard, realizing that the ancient witch's curse was now upon them. As the moon hung heavy in the sky, the group started to separate, searching for any sign of safety or escape. But one by one, they fell victim to Baba Yaga's curse. Sarah was the first to vanish, disappearing into the woods with only her distant, sinister cackle echoing through the trees. When the others found her clothes, torn and stained with blood, they knew that the legend was all too real. Lena's skepticism had turned into paralyzing fear, and her cries for help grew increasingly desperate. Alex was next to be ensnared, leaving behind a trail of ominous symbols etched into the forest floor. Rachel, the folklore enthusiast, realized they had to seek out the source of the legend to confront Baba Yaga. The remaining friends, Rachel, Mark, and Lena, ventured deeper into the haunted forest. They encountered supernatural phenomena, such as ghostly apparitions and unsettling whispers, as they followed the path they believed would lead them to the witch. As they ventured further into the heart of the forest, the world around them became more distorted and terrifying. Trees warped and twisted, and unnatural shadows closed in, turning their surroundings into a nightmarish labyrinth. Finally, the group reached a clearing, and there, they saw her, Baba Yaga, the ancient witch, emerged from the darkness. Her sharp, iron teeth gleamed in the moonlight, and her eyes burned with malevolence. She was surrounded by an eerie aura, and her presence radiated dread and darkness. The final confrontation was a nightmarish struggle. P. 
pitting their wits and courage against Baba Yaga's dark powers, Rachel's knowledge of folklore became their greatest weapon as she chanted incantations to weaken the witch, Baba Yaga's hut, the legendary chicken-legged dwelling, came to life to protect its mistress, it loomed over the group, creaking and moving with an eerie, deliberate purpose, it became a battle of wits and wills as the friends and the hut clashed, with Lena facing her greatest fear as she took a daring stand against the witch who had terrorized them. As the night wore on, the group managed to outsmart Baba Yaga, using their intelligence, bravery, and their newfound respect for the supernatural. With a final incantation, Rachel weakened the witch, allowing the hut to be turned against its malevolent mistress. In a climactic struggle, the chicken-legged hut spun wildly trapping Baba Yaga within its walls, with a deafening cackle, the hut scuttles away into the depths of the forest, taking the witch with it, the remaining friends were left trembling in the clearing, the moonlight casting an eerie glow upon their exhausted and shaken faces, the horror of Halloween night had left its mark on them, and they knew that Baba Yaga's curse might still linger, as the sun rose on November 1st, they made their way out of the forest, shaken but alive, Haunted by the night they had survived, though they had confronted Baba Yaga and lived to tell the tale, they could never forget the terror that Halloween had brought to life in the heart of that dark and cursed woods. And so, the legend of Baba Yaga's curse would live on, a chilling tale to be shared by those who dared to venture into the unknown on Halloween night, forever marked by the power and horror of the ancient witch.